Hi everyone, my name is Candice and thank you for joining me um, in this 4.0 roadmap update. I'm the UX lead for um, the Moodle design team and um, as you can see the team are spread across um, different uh, products within Moodle. So we've got LMS, mobile app and workplace. Um, we also extend our design team out to um, our external stakeholders. So we work really closely with our partners, um, the MUA and the Moodle community itself, that being developers, students, teachers, um, and administrators. So they're also really important um, uh, as part of the design process. So where we're at with 4.0 so far is we've just completed um, vision and prioritization phase where we actually went and um, did some discovery on what would be um, the great user stories to set us up for 4.0's delivery. So we're in delivery now, we've just kicked off and um, we're, uh, yep, preparing all the um, design solutions so that we can build that as part of 4.0's release next year. So just to go back a bit about that phase one, um, really we had two key objectives. One was to establish ourselves on Moodle.org so we could make contact with the um, community and a place for us to share our thoughts and our research and our process, as well as also define those 4.0 um, projects for the roadmap. Those two key activities that we did during that discovery phase to actually define the roadmap was a survey that we sent out to our users and also we ran a series of workshops. The survey itself was uh, very interesting. We got a lot of um, great feedback from our users, over 770 results. And um, you know, the key thing that we were looking for from the data was um, from the question we asked, which was, what's the one thing that challenges you the most on a day-to-day -day basis when using Moodle? So as you can see, um, probably here in the top 10 categories you've got on um, the diagram, you know, really what stood out was courses and student experience. Um, so the teacher created course and student experience, as well as some technology issues, activities not working as well as they should, the mobile app and components. Um, so when we put all that information together um, and categorized them and ranked them by severity, again, we got this focus area um, on the, the key problems around the teacher course experience. Teachers not being able to easily duplicate, reuse and move course content around. Um, so the system not being as flexible as it could be. Um, students not uh, finding their way around the system that easily, um, as easily as they should. You know, the interface um, giving the users a lot of options um, so just making it a bit difficult for them to complete common some common tasks activities as well as quiz and assignments standing out as um, quite severe issues on setup on um, the setup processes and workflows as well as um, components so gradebook needing some help with um, some um, you know, improving some of that, the manual workflows and um, being able to, yeah, link better that student enrollment flows to um, the, the grade book workflows as well. So we also delve into, delved into this research um, during some workshops and we run the, ran these over a couple months. Um, we had 12 workshops in total, about 40 participants. And again, we ran these internally as well as externally. So we had um, teachers participate, students and our dev community. Um, we were really focused on what the vision was for 4.0, who's our target audience and who, um, and what are their pain points? What do they need? We looked at, looked at that over the user journey map so to understand um, that in the real world context of them you know through their life cycle then we went into some fun bits of ideation where we said how can we solve some of these problems together so those results from the user journey map actually was what we extracted um, the data from in terms of what are all the issues that our users are um, having while they are moving through the system at different phases um, of their life cycle. So again, we got um, some key themes back around the teacher journey map saying was difficult, difficulty around navigating between courses at speed, again, moving content around more easily, um, grading activity resources and quiz also coming up as um, some friction areas um, through their uh, processes, as well as the student journey map 
um, uh, highlighting to us that also navigating between courses wasn't as easy as possible and that students really just need to know what to do next, especially from you know, a place where they would expect that to happen in their dashboard um, and also just making the assignment and grading pro progress um, a lot more clearer and intuitive for them. So ultimately, we put that back together from all of this information and discovery phase, and we came up with three key objectives for 4.0, and that was to you know, make sure that we're optimizing the UX for the most critical user tasks. We like to design a new language system for LMS um, and really modernize um, Boost's interface. Um, uh, theme interface and then while we're doing this we're obviously going to do this very user-centered and make sure we're really embedding um, a user-centered framework in everything that we do. So just to focus again on those key theme areas for the optimization of the UX journeys we really want to focus on navigation that was called out for the teacher and the student experience. The teacher create a course um, workflows, student do a course, um, um, UX needs to be improved, um, the teacher student dashboard, there's some work to be done there, um, and some further work around teacher assignment and gradebook experience. So how did we actually make sure that we were choosing the right things for this process? Well, we had all that list of user problems that we extracted through the discovery. Um, and then we went through a qualifying criteria process where we said, if you're a teacher and a student, well then, you know, and it's an issue that you're facing, then that passes through as um, uh, a problem that we want to deal with. Then again, we looked at these um, key areas and said, if it's part of navigation, create a course, do a course, um, dashboard, assignment or gradebook, then we give you a thumbs up. You can definitely come through to 4.0 because we know that these are the key areas that um, are causing people the most issues. And then we go through to prioritization where we look at it with our development team and we actually say, how big is this problem versus the value um, that we're going to get from actually investing the time and effort to build it. Ultimately, where we want to get to is obviously create those cool user stories so we can start building and designing a solution. Um, not in scope for 4.0, things like quiz, forum, enrollment, feedback, messaging, etc. Um, so it doesn't mean we're not going to do those things. It just means they're not a priority right now. And as soon as we complete the, those um, really critical stories for, for create a course and do a course, etc., um, the next issues that have come um, that have bubbled up in those themes will um, uh, be looked at immediately straight afterwards. So altogether, how that looks like over the next 12 months is we've got three project streams led by um, um, our designers who are working with our development and product teams. Um, and our first stream of work is again, that how, going into that key theme area of navigation um, and um, solving the problems in there within the menu and the breadcrumbs, et cetera. And then towards the end of that stream, being able to pick up um, the teacher assignment setup and grading issues. Our second course stream is all about that teacher create a course um, UX, so being able to edit and move content around more easily. We've put in there a bit about onboarding, but we think we're hoping that we would have um, solved a lot of those problems um, in the first phase. Um, and um, yeah, we're just banking on that. We're making them. Uh, interface a lot more intuitive and won't really rely that need to rely that much on onboarding but we're keeping it in there because it did come up in the research as a as a thing that people um, really needed um, the teacher and gradebook are set up and editing stories will then follow after that and the third stream is picking up the pieces of the teacher dashboard UX and of course that student um, UX around doing the course and the dashboard so just improving those user flows um, around um, their timeline and you know their to do lists. So new design language for LMS Boost theme as we said we want to create something that's scalable sustainable um, and no, something that's focusing on uh, universal design language, which is meeting our highest usability and accessibility standards. Um, we do have to focus on uh, unifying LMS with our app experience, because obviously they are the same product and used by the same users. But we also have to bear in mind that we have some common workplace UI components that we may want to incorporate um, into, into our system as well. 
So ultimately what we want to achieve is, you know, starting to build out that new design system with the foundation aspects and the UI components and um, pattern library, um, which looks a little bit something like this. So we've got a long way to go and we still need to find a home for our design system um, so that we can um, create this library um, and this common toolkit for everybody to have access to. Um, so how we'll be doing it is obviously we're going to be working in Agile with our um, development team. We will work in two-week sprints. We're going to do a lot of, um, you know, clearing up what's the user problem, making sure we're honing in on the right scope, um, and um, really getting in through to that estimate, uh, to that ideation phase where we can quickly, rapidly um, ideate, design, and test some of these solutions um, and work um, uh, lean um, with our product and development teams and of course with yourselves out there, our community, our partners and MUA to make sure that we um, are getting you know, closer to the right problem together and everybody's aware of the direction that we're taking. So we have set off, we're currently in the second sprint, um, so please do keep um, uh, um, updated um, on Moodle.org. UX team and you'll see all of our projects up there in different streams where you can um, uh, see uh, the workflows and updates every day of what we're doing. Um, we do have one major update that we'll do every fortnight so at the end of the sprint um, but there are more frequent updates that we'll do as well and particularly around um, recruiting for research and getting involved in some of our activities, which we're really lucky to be part of. So things like um, our ideation workshops or just some usability testing or interviews and um, just sharing our prototypes and getting feedback on that. So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming your way. So please stay um, uh, tuned and please get involved and please give us your feedback. Um, really want to hear what you think of the roadmap and um, any suggestions that you have. And yeah, look forward to working with all of you um, on 4.0. Cool, thanks.